Hi, everyone. My name is Anna Martha Ayala, and I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. On this channel, I try to teach you all the degree theory by the late Nikola Stoyanovic. Before we get started, I wanted to just state that the degree theory works with Western modern astrology, and the house system it uses is Placidus. It will not work with the whole sign system. It won't work with any other type of astrology, not sidereal. It only works with Western modern astrology and the Placidus house system. So in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about the upcoming lunar eclipse, full moon lunar eclipse in Libra on March 25th at five degrees Libra. If you find these videos that you're learning astrology, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share it with somebody that's also wanting to learn astrology. If you wanted to get in touch with me for a nail chart reading, please send an email to amaastrology at aol.com. So with a full moon lunar eclipse in Libra, Libra talks about relationships. At the five degree, it's the degree of Leo, so it talks about romantic relationships, it talks about children, it talks about um, vacations, it talks about hobbies, creative projects, everything that the fifth house rules, according to the degree theory. Now, what is a full moon solar, I mean, lunar eclipse? Um, a lunar eclipse happens when the sun and the moon are in opposition. They are at 180 degrees. And this eclipse is with the south node because the, the lunar nodes are now in Aries, the north node is in Aries, and the south node is in Libra. So with this eclipse happening in Libra, and it's conjoined the, the south node, that means that there will be endings to romantic relationships. Now, does that mean that every romantic relationship is going to end? No. If you have a relationship that is stable, that everything is going great, there are no issues or any major issues, then your relationship will most likely survive. However, if you have a relationship that's a little rocky, that, you know, maybe there are trust issues or you just, you're not getting along with the person, then most likely with this eclipse, it will be finalized. And any breakups that happen during an eclipse are final. There's no going back. So I just wanted to state that. So. What are the themes that are going to come up on this lunar eclipse? Well, the themes are described by the houses. So if this happens in your first house, that means you are a Libra rising. If you are a Libra rising, then this is you. You have to let go of something that's holding you back. Is it the codependency theme that Libras have, right? The, because Libra's life mission, basically, is to get married, both the men and women. They just want a partner. They want to get married. They want a relationship. They want to have that special someone, okay? So they tend to be people pleasers. They do everything for their partner. Whatever the, that other person wants, they bend over backwards if they need to, to make their partner happy so this lunar eclipse is asking you to look at you to be a little bit selfish to think about what you want is there something that you want to do to change yourself the way you behave the way you look the way you dress um it's asking you to throw away 
to let go of your insecurities. It's great to listen to advice of people that are well-intentioned, obviously, but the decision is yours. And learn to make a decision and stick to it. You think about it, pros and cons, but once it's made, there's no going back. All right, so this is what this lunar eclipse is asking you to do. Be a little bit more like Aries, independent, assertive. Um, you know, don't care about what people say as long as you don't hurt anybody. If it happens in your second house, which you would be a Virgo rising, well, this, there might be an ending of a job. Because the second house is the money that we make from the job that we do. It's the regular paycheck, right? So it, all, it not only talks about the money that we make, but also what we spend it on. So maybe you're going to end a cycle of spending it on stuff that you really don't need or spending it on... It also deals with food. Second house deals with food. So maybe you're spending money on junk food right? Potato chips, ice cream, sodas. Well, maybe this is the time that you say, okay, I'm going to not buy any of that stuff. So your spending habits, you need to look at them and end stuff that you're throwing money away and um, stuff that you're eating also that you need to stop. And if your job ends, then, you know, it's because something better is coming along for you. So um third house which you would be uh, a leo rising for a third house a trip might be coming to its end um a course that you're taking in school you might be taking exams um issues with your siblings you know maybe you come to a resolution maybe you had a disagreement with one of them um, so maybe you guys come to some happy medium and you come to a resolution. Um, issues with extended family, your aunts, uncles, cousins, neighbors, you know, everything that's third house related, uh, something, a resolution or an ending comes there. Um, also, if you have a, a business, an online business, and you're looking at maybe product margins or line segments that are not being as profitable profitable as you want, then you might decide to end that line or that product, okay? Um, fourth house. So this would be cancer rising people. So this one you need to pay close attention because this one deals with parents and with your physical home. So with parents, if you have um, older parents, that are sick, um, this may be that they pass um, close to the eclipse. So you need to watch out. Or also, it doesn't have to be so final, they could fall. So make sure that any cords, whether it be the TV, the cable, the computer lines, you know, the electric cords, anything like that, any leaks in the bathroom so nobody slips and falls, Make sure that you tend to it, you get it repaired before the eclipse. And the eclipse is active, um, you know, a couple of weeks before and a couple of weeks after. It's in some, in some cases a month before and a month after, but the intensity, you know, the closer to that day, then the closer the intensity, right? So it could be that you want to sell your house and you sell it, right? There can, like I said, there could be a death of a parent. Um, and also there could be some resolution with maybe if you're holding a grudge, God forbid, um, to one of your parents that maybe you guys talk about it and you just um, come to resolution for everybody to just get along and, you know, peace, right? Peace and love. That's uh, That's what it should be about. The fifth house, so this would be Geminizing. Geminis, well, you can rethink the way you want your boyfriend or your girlfriend to treat you. Um, maybe there are 
things that you think about what romance should be, like the ideas that you have about courtship and stuff like that, that come to an end um, because you're changing the way you think about that. Also, there could be breakups because it's a relationship access as well. The fifth house talks about um, boyfriends and girlfriends. So again, if you have um, an argument or not an argument, a breakup, then it will be final. Um, fifth house also talks about children. There could be a change in your firstborn's um, life because they could be moving out. They could be going to, you know, getting ready to go to college. They could have been accepted in some program. Uh, so there are changes in your firstborn's uh, life. For the sixth house, this would be Taurus rising. There could be changes to health. There could be a health resolution. Maybe they diagnose you. They finally come up with a diagnosis and give you the correct medications and you can just move forward. Um, it could be the end of a work project, um, an exercise routine, a bad habit of not eating well. Maybe you're going to get rid of all the junk food, right? Like the potato chips, just like the second house, like the potato chips, the sodas, the ice cream. It could be the end of a job. Or your supervisor might quit, especially if the supervisor is a woman because it's a lunar eclipse. Um, so she, if she's not a good boss, hopefully that's what happens. So, and then also there could be the death of a pet because six house rules pets. Um, Pisces would be the eighth house. Uh, it deals with investments, so be careful. If I guess most likely if you have an investment that's not doing well, then you will go ahead and sell the stock or sell the mutual fund or whatever. Um, there could Death could be around you because it's the eighth house and it would be a female, you know. So it could also be, eighth house can also be the death of fears some kind of fear that you have that just you say look this is not rational it's not going to happen so um it just i'm going to put a stop to it and you move forward aries i almost forgot aries can you imagine um aries this deals with your seventh house so here um there could be a divorce there could be an ending of a business relationship because the seventh house deals with long-term relationships, both in um, romance and in business. Could also be the end of a legal case because it also deals with um, legal cases. Again, if the relationship is doing well, then nobody's going to get divorced. But if your marriage has been on the rocks for a while and this eclipse might just be the one to, you know, put an end to it, right? And then that way you can find somebody else, you know, that loves you better, that treats you better, that um, you have a chance to be happy with somebody else. Now, again, if the relationship is good, you have you don't have anything to worry about. Now, Aquarius rising, which is the ninth house. There's an end to some kind of belief that you have, um, or some maybe like religious belief, right? Um, that needs to change, uh, or you can have a change in major if you're in a university, right? Maybe you were studying art and then you decide to go for accounting, or you were in music and you decide to go, let's do medicine, you know, let's do biology. So you can have um, exams um, or a long distance travel can end as well. Uh, in the 10th house for Capricorn Risings, now here is work related. So you could have a change of jobs. Uh, a female boss can quit or pass as well. Uh, work projects end. Now the 10th house, 
the tenth and the fourth house relate to parents. So the same warnings I gave the fourth house, I'm giving you. If your parents are older and are health wise or not doing well, make sure that you pick up all the cords, take care of any leaks in the house, in the bathroom, uh, nothing that they can trip over, hurt themselves. Um, or anything like that. Now, if their health is not doing well, I mean, really, really bad that they're in the hospital and it's whatever, this eclipse might just transition them to another stage, right? They might pass. Um, so there is a, not a dispute, but, you know, some astrologers say that the fourth house is your father and the 10th house is your mother and and vice versa. So, you know, it's, it's just one of your parents. Okay. Um, Sagittarius, the 11th house. For Sag Risings, it's your 11th house. So your friends, your goals, your dreams, um, some of your wishes. If they were not realistic, they come to an end. You know, um, for you to set new goals, something more realistic. To have a dream that's actually reachable. And your, you know, your friends, they might be, move away. And if they move away, then the friendship basically dies, you know. Because, um, you know, you lose touch with the person. And lastly, for Scorpio rising, it happens in your 12th house. So this, I hope, is the releasing of traumas. Is the releasing of those deep psychological and like wounds that you have that are... um you know, that the tear us apart, right? So hopefully you'll be able to release this. This is a, a great time to maybe therapy ends because you've been able to release them, right? Um, but anything that's outdated, a, you know, you just got to move forward. And, um, and this would be like a, a good time for like a past life regression. Maybe you had the regression and now you understand and then you can move forward. So I hope that um, now you guys know what to expect with this eclipse. Uh, if you have found this video helpful, useful, you've learned something from it, please subscribe to the channel or give it or and give it a thumbs up. Um, send the link to somebody that it might also help. And if you want a natal chart reading with me, please send me an email to amaastrology at aol.com. Thank you, as always, for your attention.